here we go. Uh, this is a very first... It's our first Zoom call. It's our first Zoom call. So, I'd like to thank the boys, Fergo and D-Bags, Dylan Brown. Welcome, boys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us, boys. Thanks for having us. How are you going to beat Penrith this weekend? Bashing. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, we all know Penrith unreal when they're in, uh, in their zone, so you just got to keep them out with you. The only way you can do that is bashing. Now, Fergo, where the f*** are you going to stand this weekend? In between attackers or outside an attacker? Oh, he, doesn't... All right. he doesn't know where he's going to stand. This is the thing. If I stand on the sideline, they'll go on the inside of me. If I stand in the, in, <laughs> near the centre, they'll go on the outside of me. So, I don't know. Have you thought about getting into the back row? Because you're, you're big enough. No chance. But, well, there's people that can help you in defence. Like, you don't have to worry about anything else except the, the middle... The middle... You hate this saying. The middle third. Just say the centre. The centre. <laughs> say the centre. <laughs> why, why middle third? <laughs> it's like middle earth. <laughs> Leave me out of this shit. Boys. <laughs> hey, Dylan, 41 tackles last time you played Penrith. Who's looking after you on that edge there? Who's your bodyguard? Clearly no one. <laughs> yeah. Who was there? Maddo. Probably was Maddo. Do you think Ryan Madison may be the first player in NRL history to play a game with his shirt off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I swear, no matter why, the only reason why he has a shirt on is because he has to wear the sponsors, that's it. Is he, has he got a partner up there? Recently single, actually. Oh, Ooh. recently. What happened? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They just split ways. Is there a third party involved? <laughs> nah, no third parties. Not a third party payment, because I know what goes on up there at Ride Car Park. I mean a third party is in, like, another relationship. Nah, no third party relationship. What about a three-way? <laughs> yeah, there's a three ways up here. Yeah, I know. The, the one that goes the M1 that goes all the way up. <laughs> yeah, three -way. It goes all the way to the Gold Coast. Nothing worse than a chocker block three way. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's good luck. You just cannot move. Do you agree? <laughs> oh, I concur. Hey, Br Brownie, you, the last couple of uh, weeks, your hair is, has been the talking point. I mean, you had the high tide mark. I love that one. It looked like it was quite a phallic symbol, it looked, which means it, like, it looked like a penis. <laughs> Um, was anyone, did anyone say anything? It looked like a... Giant uh, knob? Yeah, like a helmet. Nah, I didn't, didn't get any knob comments, nah. And what about this one now? You've gone the peroxide blonde? Originally it was for um, charity. I was doing a uh, campaign with Ronald McDonald House, raising money for sick kids and their families, so uh, just jumped on the trend and nice this work. was part of the deal. Nice. So I raised a bit of money for them. Uh, nice work, Brownie. And um, Fergo, you lost your hair for charity, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Fergo, what happened last week when you got your leg twisted off? I don't know. I think Jesse Sue thought it was a lamb chop. We saw you hurl some abuse at him. Would you like to share with our viewers what you said? I actually tried to stand up and I tried to confront him and I <laughs> ended up getting up and falling over and just swearing. I was going, going, going F this, F that, F and you. Channel a bit of Corey Thompson. Patrick Herbert the other day. <laughs> Corey Thompson ripped into Patrick Herbert and Patrick Herbert goes, relax, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's sitting there and going, relax. I mean, he was dropping Helen Hunts all over the place. He can't be doing that. <laughs> so, are you off your head? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm just, I can't, I can't hear you. And the line is splitting right down the middle of your face. So, Fergo, can you move it a little bit to your left? Whoa, no, too far. No, no. Yeah. No, no. we're trying to get it right Stop on the yeah. abuse. Go back to your left a bit, tiny bit. Whoa, whoa. But are you going to get that straightened when you retire? <laughs> no, seriously, I smash mine. You have to get it fixed, otherwise your breathing goes and you can't sniff stuff. <laughs> I get it fixed for that's the reason. But... Well, you can't. You go out to a rose garden, you can't sniff anything. There's nothing better than walking in the garden and getting, like, some rose bush and just sticking up your bugle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys, quick note, let's get a bit serious, because the Parramatta Eels fans, they're frothing. Yeah, it's Battle of the West. You started off the year flying. We had that bit of a dip. What does Parramatta need to do to beat the Panthers? We need to keep them away from our try line. Whenever, they, whenever the Pinner have done on the try line, you know, they, that's what they've done to us last time. They just they attack and they score points pretty easily, so... If you keep them away from there, um, obviously it gives us a good opportunity to win the game. If Parramatta had a really good start, who do you think would be their first try scorer? Parramatta, a good start. No, no, no. What we're saying is when you do ball work and you're attacking the line, where do you. Oh, we can't give which, that side, which side would you go, go to? Like, who do you like we to We can't hit? give that information. We can't or, give that information. Or kick to. Just, just, um, there's no innuendo. We're not some sort of. Indian bookmakers. No, it doesn't matter. We can't give that information. D bags. Someone with someone with odds. Give information about the game plan. Front rower. Yeah. RCG. Someone like that up the middle. Just like... to like throw Panthers off the scent. Like fake to go wide. 
long, short. Turn it back inside. Junior Paulo under the sticks Six. at 80 to 1. <laughs> I get a drink, you get a drink. We all get a drink. Oh, yeah, chats out of red zone. Fergo, <laughs> what about maybe doing a captain's challenge when you're 75 metres away? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you thought about that, bringing that into your game? I don't mind the other week, I what? No, I didn't. What happened? <laughs> no, I kicked the boy out on the full on captain's yeah. challenge. Guffo was on the sideline and, and Guffo and Mitchell were like, challenge it. Why don't you just tell Guffo to f off like Mitchell does every week? Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys, we're, we're going to let you go. Thanks for joining us yeah. and good luck. Good luck, boys. See you later. Thanks for having us. See you.